with euro yen i believe it was yesterday i drilled down the resistance levels um on this uh from this monthly chart um i went down to the four hour time frame i believe it was and that's where i pulled up these levels from so um that's where we've come up to we've come up to that first area um or thereabouts 5680 we've come up to as a resistance so if we come down into today so so we've come close to that resistance area um markets tend to be attracted to those round numbers so it wouldn't be um out of the question for this to move up maybe for a stop hunt um but my thesis is bearish at this point um both technically and fundamentally we've got some horrible pmis that came out today for both the eurozone and the us um which um which essentially fulfill the central bank's um endeavors to to slow down the economy with their interest rate cycle so we're starting to see that come through and that should put, put a lid on the sentiment around the ecb around the fed the hawkish sentiment and then coming more in line with the sentiment around the bank of japan so you know they're, they're on either side of the spectrum so that divergence between the ECB and Bank of Japan um, is narrowing potentially, and that's why we've got that sell-off. So um, that's broken structure. It left an imbalance which we're filling. So we're coming up in there maybe to come lower. Um, but I would be looking to short this um, at some point. Um, but it's just a question of timing so really what we're looking for now um, is a deceleration of this upside correction that is so far remaining below these resistance lines so they're broken down so it's a broken down market um, and we're looking to short so we've got this W formation which is a reversion pattern um, so I'll be looking for that to be targeted um the 155 80s um or thereabouts so in that area okay so coming into here but this being the first support um but the question is when so we're starting to see a deceleration on the hourly chart I'd want to see an engulfment for that to be confirmed. And then I'd be looking for my lower term time frame structural points uh, to, to build my um, position into to work the way down. But this could still come up. Um, you've got liquidity above here around that round number. So I am. I'll just be wary of selling too too quickly. I mean, this could come down to move back up for the final move down. That's the probably the more likely scenario. Um, but we'll we'll see how that plays out. So just drilling in then to this market structure, this would be um, an area of interest to be selling from. This was the last move up. Um, so I'd say that we could move up higher coming down we do have this um, immediate void of um, offers so between here and here this pin so far and there so we could see that be filled and that would tie into our various thesis for the w formation um, but again i just want to monitor what's happening with this candle um, and we can do that from a lower time frame. I'd like to be selling higher up um, to move in. So I want to see this continue a bit higher before coming down, but we'll 
have to see and we can monitor it from a 15 minute and just wait to see what happens here for me this this is a strong this is a bullish candle this one here out of this cluster of 15 minute candles that seems to be the, the firmest of them all which is bullish so we've got upside momentum in this market currently so let's see if this can't continue up but I would be become start to become interested on a break of structure which is this candle here so let's just see if that can't hold up One fifty six thirty two is the current support level.